bodies, it's actually instructive to go back in time a little bit, say to about 2005 when the company was actually founded, and put ourselves in the shoes of a game developer. And one of the biggest problems facing game developers at that time was Flash Pirates. And Flash Pirates are essentially those people who steal or borrow your content and put it on their own sites. And that's great in one regard in that someone obviously values your content. On the flip side, they're taking credit for your work and they're probably making money off of it and you probably don't even know about that. That was actually the inspiration for founding the company and the rollout of our first service, which is Mochibot. Mochibot is an analytics service to track Flash assets. So suddenly, as a developer, you can see how many game plays, how many unique users, and probably most importantly, which domains your, your content is living on. One of the first things that we did as a company was we took a game that was created by our two founders in their prior careers and used the Mochibot service in it. And the thing that they realized is that, is that this game, despite being a couple years old, was still being played. As a matter of fact, I pulled the stats on this game from a couple weeks ago, and this game is seven years old and still exists on 300 plus sites and is, and is played on an average of 6,000 plus times a day, seven years later. So what really explains this? We went into <coughs> the Mochibot stats and did a little research, essentially. The graph on the left-hand side shows a single game locked to a single site and the number of game plays. So it's what you'd expect when the game is new it gets played a lot. And what happens over time is it essentially dies off. The chart on the right hand side, however, is a game that's allowed to live out in the internet. It's allowed to spread across the internet and essentially live free. The blue line represents the number of sites that are hosting your game. So what you see is as the, as the number of hosts increase, it has the effect of smoothing out the gameplay. Essentially, games live longer when they're, when they're distributed across the internet. So games no longer live for just three months, they live, in, in the case of Ultrablock, seven years, and counting. This observation was the inspiration for creating what is our flagship product today, Mochi Ads. Mochi Ads is the largest ad network for Flash games. What we've done is we've paired great gaming content with branded, compelling branded advertisements and plugged those in to the natural distribution power of the internet. So now the model shifted somewhat if you're a developer, right? A couple years ago, you were worried about your game being stolen. Now it's about letting your game actually be stolen, letting it live out there, because you'll make money off of the revenue share from the advertisements. Of course, along the way, we also do more structured business development relationships as well. And these are some of our, uh, our partners. So as we think about this business, and I think the industry is moving really quickly, um, there's an opportunity for Mochi Media to essentially extend our leadership position and support and service the other parts of this community. So not just developers, but publishers and advertisers as well. Obviously on the developer side, we have monetization via Mochi Ads. We also provide technology solutions such as uh, high score leaderboards that you can integrate into your game to make it more sticky. Finally, we have community. The Mochi Ads forums are, is one of the gathering spots for game developers, for Flash game developers. And it's a great feedback loop for us in our product development as well. On the publisher side, we're putting the pieces in place to support, again, this broader ecosystem. Today we announced the launch of Mochi Ads for Publishers, and it's a way for websites of any kind, any size, to access our catalog of games. Come in there, basically set up an account, and you have instant access to thousands of games. In addition, you, you can receive revenue share from the ads that show in those games. So it's no longer about paying for content, you can actually get the content for free and make incremental money from it. For advertisers, we offer them large global reach, lots of people playing these types of games. We offer targeting tools, and, and over time we'll roll out really engaging new advertising formats. The wrap around all of this is our analytics. We have the ability to track what's happening with these games, what's happening with your ads, what are the most popular games on, in your domain. So, Mochi Ads itself is a relatively young product. It's been around for about seven months, but we've seen some initial relative success. So, what we like to talk about is today, on a monthly basis, we serve hundreds of millions of impressions. We reach 60 million plus global uniques. We have a catalog of 3,000 plus games and growing. 
and we work with thousands of developers and growing. So when we think about the next set of steps, that's why we're here today. For anyone in the audience, if you are a game developer, we want to talk with you. If you want to find a way to distribute and monetize your game. If you're a publisher, you own a website, and you're looking to add gaming content to your site, we'd love to talk with you. If you're an advertiser and are looking to reach a highly engaged audience, we want to talk to you as well. And that's pretty much it. Thank you.